Becca, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a bit of a different video. You're probably gonna hear a lot of grunts and stuff throughout this video because I have to feed this baby in order to do this video because that is how little time he gives me without him is AKA I get zero time without him. So I am feeding him throughout this. So I'm sorry if you hear a ton of like little weird noises. Um, but I wanted to film a Lashify video today because I don't know, I feel like it's become such a bigger thing and I am so excited. I grabbed a control kit from Lashify. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of a way for you to do lash extensions at home. They're not supposed to damage your lashes. Um, it's like a whole system. And a big point of it is that you can save a lot of money but achieve the same look is essentially the idea of it. So this is, I'm sorry, I literally have one arm. Um, but this is a control kit. And inside of it, you're gonna get the Whisper Light Bond. There's a clear and a black side of the bond. You're gonna get glass, which is the waterproof like finisher to go over your lashes. You get a special tweezer that is used to kind of fuse the eyelashes to your eyelashes as well as apply them. And you do get two sets of gossamers, which are the names for their lashes that they have created. I believe the ones I have are C's. Let me check. Yeah. C12s and C14s are the ones that I have. You'll get two um, sets in your kit, but there are a ton of others. Anyways, um, I don't have any other gossamers quite yet, but I will be grabbing some in the future. I definitely want to create some really fun lash maps and stuff and see what looks I can create. So I will definitely be getting other ones to try, but these ones are C's for the record if you're interested. This control kit retails, I believe, for $145. Um, although you can either get $20 off, there's a code for that, and there's also a code where you can just get two free sets of lashes instead for the $145, so you would get four total. Um, I can leave those codes down below. They're not anything that would like give me money or anything. They're like a universal code that everybody uses, but um, I think I can put them down below. I should be able to find them. Um, but anyways, that is for the kit. Otherwise, everything else is priced like separately. Like it might be $20 when you run out of bond and need to buy a new bond, or it's $20 to buy a pair of lashes, or if you get the membership, everything's cheaper, yada, yada. Um, but without further ado, that is the whole intro on just what this is. But basically, I'm going to be trying this all on camera for you guys. Now, I will say I've tried them one time before, uh, the very first time I ever like opened it, and that was... Uh, the camera ended up blurry, so you know, gotta redo this. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically gonna go through putting it on one eye, and then we'll compare what one eye looks like to the other, and then I will go to the other one, and then I'll share with you guys how I feel about the longe longevity, um, as well as the application on kind of a first impression basis. And then as I use these for more time and experiment with different types and stuff, hopefully I'll be able to come back and give you guys more reviews or a tutorial or something that'll kind of have more knowledge to it. This is more of like a first impression new beginner style video. Also ignore um, how bushy and bad my eyebrows are. I didn't want to put makeup on before I film this just because I'm going to be touching my face and I also need to get my eyebrows waxed but life with a baby especially like a new baby really means that you don't get to go and get your eyebrows waxed. So ignore it. So I am going to work in sections. I'm going to start out using an eyelash curler. Um, I guess I'll do my left eye first because I have a little bit more. No? Yeah, I probably have a little bit more room to move. I'm going to curl my lashes just because it'll kind of give me a better view of where I am working as I put on the gossamers. And then basically I'm going to follow um, one of their ways to apply. There are different ways, but I'm going to follow one that kind of came with the kit that told you how to do it. So basically I'm going to apply, this is the white side, I'm going to apply the black side of the whisper light to my lashes and then I'm going to apply the white side to the spine of the gossamers and I'm also going to work in sections so I don't have to worry about being too fast when it comes to like the gossamer part. So I have one of these little micro brushes that will kind of help me out as well um, and I also have a spare little mascara wand just to kind of help me avoid any clumping of my natural lashes. All right, so I think I'm gonna do the outside first. All right, and that should really be enough for just one or two lashes because I don't wanna, 
um, have to work too quickly, so I'm just gonna go by sections. And then I'm gonna dip a gossamer onto the white side here. It's hard to show you because I have a baby here. Um, I'm gonna use a C12. Let's try. All right, and it's on. All right, I'm gonna use some C14s now um, across the whole middle area. See what I can do. And then lastly, you want to do a C12 for the inner corner. All right, and that is what that eye looks like. You can stack and stuff, but obviously this is a first impression. I don't know, I, I don't do that stuff yet. Um, but we are gonna go in and fuse in both directions is what they say to do next. Over. And press down. And then put it the other way. This one right here keeps coming right off. My lashes are tacky. This is one side compared to the other side. All right, so obviously now I have one side done. I'm gonna go do the other side. That way I can kind of talk about the application and also finish it up with the waterproof sealer. But this is the side that I did the C's on and then this is my side that obviously there is nothing. All right, y'all, so I am back. I'm talking a little bit quiet because I got the baby to sleep and it's probably not gonna last long, so I need to do this quick and I need to be quiet. Um, I finished the other eye as hopefully you can tell. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna give just my first impression quick thoughts. One, I will say that I'm excited to try out the other gossamers because there's a lot of different styles. I do think that these C's are very natural and that's not a bad thing because I am a stay-at-home mom who like I want to feel put together and that's really the end of it like not having to put mascara on. I wake up and I just like feel like I'm ready for the day but I will say as someone who obviously loves makeup, I used to do a lot of makeup on this channel, I would love to get a little bit more glam for sure as well. But that being said, I think these look really good. I'll do a close up at the end for you guys, but I do think they look good. I like uh, the length. I think they are really good for a natural look and I'm excited to try some other ones as well as stacking. I know that one thing that can kind of make them more glamorous is stacking different styles together, but obviously I need to get those other styles first and I don't know how to, like I haven't done that yet. So I don't want to do that on like a first impression video. I want to know what I'm doing if I'm going to do that on my channel for you guys. Um, I want to make it more of a, tutorial like how to and not like a first impression that way but yeah I will say on a first impression basis they were pretty easy to put on obviously this is my second time not my first time because like I said I filmed this video and it was out of focus um but I did have a hard time the first time but then when I did a little research aka I went on the Facebook group Lashify Life I also went on their Instagram and watched some live videos I learned that I wasn't necessarily applying them the correct way 
the first time. There are a lot of different tips out there that really, really help, and I found really quickly that they actually are pretty easy to apply. They're definitely, you can mess them up here and there. As you saw in the video, I had one that I couldn't get to stick for a while. So there's definitely um, a learning curve with the like the different bonds and stuff, learning how to use the right amount or to make sure you don't get it on your waterline. It's on like just above the root of your lash, not on it. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see some sort of like tip video as I get better at this, let me know. But I will say on a first impression, I am a fan. I will have to see how they wear um, for the longevity purpose and I will update you guys on that in the future for sure. But yeah, that is it for my testing Lashify video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see other like Lashify style videos in the future, let me know because I'm really excited to grab some other stuff and try it out and see what I can do and what kind of looks I can create and stuff like that but I will say on a first impression that I'm not mad about it I do think they look really nice so I think that what's gonna tell me if it's worth the money is gonna be seeing how long I can wear them because the point is that they can be worn for up to a week but a lot of people do at least three or four days so I'm gonna see how many days in a row I can wear these and then update from there all right and these are my lashes and like I said I have a C12 on the inner corner and the outer corner and three C14s across the middle those are just the ones that I happen to have right now I will say that the inner corner could definitely do something lower like an 8 or a 10 rather than a 12 because it does look a bit long in the inner corner but um, I don't have them yet so this is what I was able to do with the control kit all right and I'll see you guys in my next video